beautiful family. Another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Today I just want us to go back to that golden um, injunction our Lord Jesus gave us concerning faith. After he had um, demonstrated it massively with the fig tree. Remember he was hungry. He was going somewhere. He was hungry. He noticed the fig tree in a distance or at a distance bearing having flowers and or rather leaves and it it was noted that fig trees usually sprouted uh, figs when and when they leafed but unfortunately when he got there this fig tree did not have any um, figs on it so he was angry and cursed the fig tree with very specific words he didn't beat about the bush he said no man eats fruit from the hereafter forever that's how it was translated into english whether that's exactly what was said uh, that's it. whether that translation is uh, literal or not that's that's in effect what he was saying he was speaking the end result to it saying basically cursing it and then the disciples realized about a day later when they were walking by that it had withered from its roots and then peter uh, calling to remembrance pointed out that tree shocked that it had withered so soon uh, in essence he didn't expect the uh, anything to really have happened to the fig tree talk less of it withering so fast after jesus said that so it surprised him and jesus was kind of chided him when he asked him how come this happened and he said told him some pertinent things he says have faith in god then he went ahead to give this profound profound but simple statement he says verily verily i say unto you so in essence when he says verily i say unto you that is pay attention to what he's about saying because he's speaking a truth that is like an oath that it doesn't change so you might have tried what he's about to say and you didn't see the results but he's telling you that what i'm saying is the truth whether you got results with it before or not if you stand on it that this is the truth you will get what i'm saying it might not happen immediately but eventually it will happen as long as you don't let it go so he says verily i say unto you whosoever shall say that word whosoever i keep saying it it includes everybody every believer in christ it includes every believer in christ so don't say i'm just a baby in christ he says whosoever if our lord wanted to be specific out and exclude certain people in christ he is he's intelligent enough to have said so but in this instance he says whosoever and whosoever means whosoever it doesn't mean this set and that or that set excluding this one or that one he says whosoever shall see so that includes all of us whosoever shall say as long as the person says whosoever shall say unto this mountain this obstacle i'm extending it now to this obstacle or to this thing or to that thing be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart you see he's been explicit telling it exactly what he wants it to do but shall not doubt in his heart so he's telling you that occasionally people doubt in their hearts and that's one reason why things don't work he says i shall not doubt in his heart but shall believe that those things so the instead of doubting is going to believe that's the bottom line faith is all about belief god wants you to believe to believe him remember he says have faith in god or believe what god has said trust god Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe. So, instead of doubting in the heart, you believe. Belief is of the heart, not of the head, of the heart. But shall believe that those things which he said shall come to pass. So, in essence, he has faith in what he's saying. Trust that what he's saying is happening, will happen, because, or, or rather, why? Because God said so. It's not him carrying it out. It's God's agents and agencies that are going to carry the thing out. So he believes, he has his whole confidence that God is going to see to it that this is done. And as he says it, he believes that it is already happening. 
He believes it's happening. He says he shall have whatsoever he said. So that thing which he said, that explicit thing he said, that definite thing he said, as long as he believes that it is happening, he will have exactly that thing. Praise God. Then he now said that because of this I've said, therefore, what things soever ye desire. You see again, he says, what things soever ye desire. What's what things soever? Whatever you desire. When you pray, believe that you have received them and you shall have it. Believe that you receive it and you shall have it. He just demonstrated from what he did to the fig tree. And he's saying, by extension, you see this thing I did to this fig tree? This is the principle. If you apply it as you're praying to the Father, believe that the, the Father in his goodness towards you, because he loves you, has granted you that which you've asked of him. If he has granted you that which you've asked of him, you believe it. You remember the Bible says, For it is impossible to please God without believing what he has said. Without faith. For it is impossible to believe God. without uh, Sorry, to, to please God without believing him. So the Father is looking for you to believe him. And it's in believing him that he puts things in motion for you. So when you believe that he has granted you, you believe what he said because he says, ask and he will give you. So if, you, if you've asked, as you've asked, you believe that he kept his word. Not that he will keep his word, but that he kept his word, that he has kept his word. Because he says, he listens to you. And if you believe that he has kept his word, praise God. Those angels are already sent out to minister for you. To see to it that what God has commanded, because you asked him. They get they go and gather it, bring it into the here and here and now. Make sure it is manifest here. If it requires moving people, they will move those people. If it requires moving things, adjusting situations and circumstances, they will go ahead and do that. If it is if it requires a touch in your body, they will do that. Just trust him. That's what he's saying. And you shall have whatsoever you say. And it shall be given unto you. God bless you. Hallelujah.